Hi YouTube! Today is May 13th. It is a Monday. And Monday means book review day! Um, I'm a junior in high school. And we are required to read, like, certain books to certain years, certain whatever. And usually when our teacher picks a book, they are terrible. The absolute worst books you, anyone can ever possibly read. But there was one book we read that I absolutely fell in love with. And it's called Ordinary People. And it's just about this kid. Like, it's this perfect family, essentially. Where there's Bucky, which is one son. And the other son, which I can't remember his name, but his he's the main character. Um... Oh, I have it, but I think it's Connor, Conrad. It's Conrad. His father's name is Connor, and his mother's name is Beth. So it's Bucky, Connor, Beth, and Conrad. And they're the perfect little American family until there's an accident, and Bucky, the oldest, ends up dying. And Conrad takes his death really, really badly and does some extreme things that put him in an institution and things like that. And you find out later on in the book how just what what happened to Bucky, why Conrad did what he did and how he did it and how the family reacts to the death of, like, how Beth and... Connor, which are the parents, react to the death of their oldest son and how it affects the way they raise their youngest one. And the part I love about the story is it's just, it says essentially, even when you look like the perfect family on the outside, when you look deeper and go inside the family, all any family ever really is. Well, not every family, but all perfect families, essentially. All they really are are just broken people who don't know who or what they are anymore. So they just portray themselves as fine and perfect and amazing on the outside when inside they're completely empty. There's nothing of them. And... I just thought that would be a good book to share to you. I highly recommend it. Um, I'll put who the author is down below. Because um, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I'll link you to the website of where to buy it off of Amazon, most likely. And um, If you have to read it in English class, this is one of those books where you don't just want to skim through or use spark notes. This book is amazing, and I, I highly recommend you read it. It's very, very good. Um, but... Have a good day, YouTube. Thank you for listening to me ramble about things I enjoy. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow. Bye!